Uh, these are my friends Marion and Ron, and uh, they make tiny duds for little people and apparently for little doggies as well. So, uh, Marion and Ron, I see you've got a nice little business here making uh, tiny duds for little guys. Uh, I assume that's for children, not leprechauns. Uh, so tell me a little bit about yourselves. I understand you're from the Red Deer area. Uh, yeah, we've been in the Red Deer area for uh, approximately uh, 50 years. I was born and raised there. My wife's in the same area as well. And Red Deer is about the same size as Kelowna, isn't it? Red Deer is very proximate. Both Kelowna and Red Deer have over 100,000 people. Yes. So, and you've moved here to Kelowna how long ago? Uh, last August, uh, 2011. Okay, so this is your second year at the market or first no, year? First. first. First year at the market. First full year. You were telling me, Ron, that you were in a market in Red Deer that was quite large. I think you said 300 something vendors. Uh, Tell me a little about that. Well, the Red Deer market is a, is a different type of a market than what you find here in BC, because the BC are true farmers markets. Whereas the Red Deer market is a, is a public market, which means you can sell pretty much every, anything you want to there, and it doesn't have the, uh, the rules and regulations that's typical to a, a farmer's market. Uh, so the uh, market in Red Deer gets very, very large, and because of the variety attracts a, an awful lot of people, because there's uh, not just handmade stuff or growing stuff, but uh, all types of items that people can purchase off the internet and uh, various things like that. And because of that variety, it, it attracts approximately on a nice summer's day about 15 to 20,000 people to the market. And uh, if the Red Deer market doesn't have like a board of directors and things like that, it's just run by, by three people. And it, it, it's, it's quite an easy market generally you get into. And they usually always try to find a spot for everyone that attends the market. So Marion, uh, you were telling me that you uh, you got into this business because you did some child care, and uh, that got you started on the on the tiny duds. Uh, and this is your main hobby and business. Yes, it is. Yeah. So how long have you been doing this? Twenty eight years. Twenty eight years. Wow. Well, you certainly have a lot of uh, nice product, um, and you're also doing stuff for pets as well right. although I, I can gather it's probably not the major part of your business mainly it's for children yeah and dolls, dolls and dolls oh well, you do dolls okay yeah. well that makes a, a lot of sense so Ron you were you were telling me that you uh, also have a hobby of doing model airplanes oh uh, yeah the, the models I fly uh, aren't quite as popular anymore today as they used to be the models I fly, they, didn't, they don't have uh, any radio control or any other form of control, just uh, what they used to call free flight models. And there's quite a bit of free flight over in Europe, but not so much here. Uh, I don't do the radio control models quite as much as them, which are the most popular uh, models here. But just a little bit of, of the free flight glider type of So how long have you been following that hobby? Uh, ever since I was about uh, six, seven years old. Oh well, so just pretty, pretty much a lifetime uh, of uh, ho hobbying with with the model airplanes. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks very much, uh, Marion and Ron, and I hope you have a great day today. We're here at the Kelowna Farmers Market, and this is the the Wednesday morning market from eight to one on Wednesday mornings. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, this is a gentleman who just dropped my by my bread booth. And what's your name? Ben. Ben? Uh, ben, you were telling me about the Red Deer Market. Can, uh, can you give me a little insight into that market? I hear it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a good market. There's um, You get a lot of vendors and stuff like that who come through. Um, one of the things that I find a little bit more difficult than normal farmers markets is because it's a very open, um, it's an open market concept. So you can have as many commercial vendors as you want and things like that. So it makes it a little bit more difficult sometimes for those of us who are trying to sell our own products that we've grown in our gardens or baked in our own homes. Because um, you, 
have, yeah, you have this tension where there are people there who are just marketing stuff that they've bought from somewhere else already. So, so would they actually market produce there? Um, they do. Um, you get a couple of people actually who will buy their produce here in BC, and then they'll go sell it again in Red Deer. In Red Deer. Okay. Well, thank you. That's very informative. Thank you very much, Ben. No and thanks for coming by my bread booth. Thanks. Our favorite comment from day 22. I love your videos. And that was from Rigby Pops. Well, thank you. And please don't forget to put your comment below. And click on subscribe. Thank you, friends.